Good morning, everybody. Welcome to World Without Rule of Law. Just coming in to drop off a quick video. Uh, really, it's not even a video, it's just a slideshow. A couple pictures of some nursery pots that I was gifted. You know, Craigslist is a pretty valuable free resource in some cases. And I find myself like looking on there quite a bit and very rarely is there something that, you know, I want to take advantage of. But these pots were one of them. So there's a gentleman 40 minutes south of me who runs a nursery and landscape design company. And he had put these on, um, put an ad on Craigslist for free nursery pots. And so when I get down to Virginia, I want to do my peppers in pots so I can move them in the greenhouse in the fall and a few other things. So I started out with I wanted to propagate some blackberry and different berry bushes that I'm going to be doing down there and maybe try to sell them as a source of income at some point you know um after i get established and so i was looking for the what i have pictured here the smaller pots which are gallon and there's a couple mixed ones gallon and some that are a little bit smaller and so he said oh yeah you know i got tons of those come on down and so i went down and ended up finding these big ones and i started thinking like oh that'd be great for the pepper plants and all kinds of stuff now you know, he told me a story, and I can relate to it because I have also um, put ads on Craigslist to give stuff away for free. Pretty recently when we sold our home, I had an old corn stove in the basement, and it was super heavy, and we just needed to get rid of it, and I put it on there. And So, like, people call, and they say, oh, yeah, you know, I'll be down Saturday at noon, and then you arrange everything so you're there to meet them, and they just never show up. You never hear from them. One guy said he was going to come at like 2 in the afternoon, and uh, like 4, 4.30 rolls around. I haven't seen him. I try calling him, and he's like, well, I had to find somebody to help me to move it, and we're running a little late. We stopped off for pizza. We should be there soon. Thinking like, oh, you know, so like I rearranged my whole day to meet this guy. Now, I'm giving it to him for nothing, you know, I'm not making any money on it. And it just kind of like takes the wind out of your sails when you want to try to be a blessing to people, which isn't the right attitude to have. It's not about us, but we try to help others. And so this guy related a similar story. He had a few people, you know, I'll be down Saturday at noon, I'll be down at 11, I'll be down, you know, Wednesday morning at 9 o'clock. And then they just never show up. And so the pots were down a little ways in his backyard, and he had to drive the tractor down and load them up and bring them up. So I went with him, picked out the ones I want. We put them in the tractor, and so whatever. So when he's waiting for somebody, he's out there with the tractor running, warming it up, and then these people never come. He said at one point he just tried to recycle them, but the recycle center wouldn't take them now. Here's a guy who runs a business. He's got a dumpster right there next to his garage. How much of that is he going to put up with before he just says, you know what, I'm just going to take all these pots and I'm going to throw them in that stinking dumpster. And then I don't have to wait for anybody. I don't have to deal with anything. But fortunately for me, he didn't. And I guess, you know, just saying all this to say, like, if you find something on Craigslist and you want to respond to the ad, just show up when you say you're going to. It's not that hard. If you can't make it Saturday at 11, don't tell them you're going to be there Saturday at 11. Because what happens is these people just, after a while, they start to get the attitude. And I've heard people say it myself. It's not worth it. It's not worth putting stuff on Craigslist. But yet here... Clearly, if that guy had taken this that attitude, I wouldn't have gotten all these pots. I got over a couple hundred pots here, and I'm pretty psyched about it. And so I just wanted to share that with you and, you know, realize that sometimes people are going out of their convenience zone a little to try to be a blessing or try to help, you know, re reuse some of this stuff or repurpose some of this stuff. And I think that's great. I mean, I think it's great to... You have something that's still useful that is no use to you to try to pass it on to somebody else. And we're in a society where, you know, 
I think we're getting away from that. I think that's sad. So I just want to give a shout out, kudos to the gentleman that put the pots on Craigslist, and thanks for not throwing them in the dumpster. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless you.